Hello, my name is Maroon Buslemin. I'm a scientist in uh, Professor Johan Auerk's lab. So we've team up, teamed up with SDSC and uh, to, to tackle certain uh, problem or a few problems in biology, which are traceability and reproducibility. And uh, Eric has already talked about this on-premise uh, SV deployment. Uh, so uh, we are part of this. So the partners in this project are our lab uh, and uh, Gael Lane, who's the head of uh, the SVIT and SDSC. So basically, uh, what do we do? Uh, the OWRX lab, we work on systems genetics. So, uh, and this means that we try to figure out what happens between the genotype and the phenotype by using, by using as many layers as possible of information. And usually these layers of information are quite huge. So the main, one of the issues all, uh, there is that data is very heterogeneous. It comes from different sources. Now uh, it's also uh, stored in different places, and we need to put all that together. Uh, Eric mentioned laboratory information management system, so this is part of where the data is stored, and there's also uh, other data that are stored on multiple servers. And add to that, uh, the computation happens on different servers. So. We're trying to use Renku to solve all these issues at once, to create this one-stop shop of, of data uh, analyses, uh, which will allow us to, to, uh, collaborate, uh, to collaborate together and know what we've, we've done with that data and when. So uh, the way we're going to tackle that is that first we're going to try to make as many standardized pipelines on Renku. Uh, which are usable, can be used by, by many people in the SV faculty. The, uh, then we're going to start putting data out there, data that's already published or data that is ongoing, uh, using this on-premise Renko deployment. At the same time, we're trying to build this IT uh, service competence. Uh, so we would want to make it as a service with support. When, when a scientist has an issue, he could talk to someone, and this is a... Uh, more of a professional service given to them. And at the end, we want to put all that together in a portal, which we will call Systems Genetics, which will allow us to integrate data from different sources and, uh, and ask, ask the interesting questions. This will enable uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence, uh, which at the moment, due to this fragmentation, is not possible. So thank you very much. That's it from my side. Okay.